In problem 14, two cars are traveling at 40 and 50 miles per hour, respectively. If the second car starts out five miles behind, how many minutes will it take the second car to overtake the first car? So in this problem, we're trying to figure out how many minutes it'll take for the second car to catch up to the first car. So we have to define a variable for the amount of minutes it'll take for the cars to meet each other. So let's say x is equal to the time in, so our answer needs to be in minutes, but we're given the speeds in miles per hour. So we're gonna have to do the time in hours. And one of the easiest ways to look at this problem is to draw a diagram. So we have two situations. So we have two cars. So let's say the top one is for the first car and the bottom is for the second. And notice that in the second case, there's a five mile gap. And we know that they're eventually gonna meet at this point, but we don't know how long it's gonna take. So for the first one, it's going 40 miles an hour and it's gonna take X amount of hours. So the total distance here is just gonna be 40 times x. So for instance, if it took one hour, then this distance will be 40 miles. And after this car, the second car travels this five miles, it'll travel the exact same distance from the starting line of the first car to the end point. So this would also be 40 times x. But the total of the second car would be 50 times x, since it's going 50 miles an hour. So with this information, we can conclude that this total distance here, 5 miles plus this 40x, has to equal this total distance, 50x. So in other words, 5 plus 40 times x is equal to 50 times x. And now we just have to solve for x, so I can subtract 40x from each side, and I'll be left with 5 is equal to 10x, and if I divide each side by 10, I'll be left with my answer. 5 tenths is the same thing as 1 half. And remember, this is in hours, and 1 half hours is the same thing as 30 minutes. So really, 30 minutes is the final answer. And this is pretty easy to check, since all you need to do is know that the first car traveling at 40 miles an hour and only went a half hour, so that means the car traveled 20 miles. And the second car traveled 50 miles an hour for a half an hour, that was 25 total miles. But since that started five miles behind, the two mileage would equal each other.